Hey, Christina Munoz here, and I'm actually in the Victorian Rehabilitation Hospital getting a ketamine or ketamine infusion done to help me, I guess, with the pain that I experienced in my back and, and my right leg with the sciatic nerve damage and so on. And it was really interesting because I was actually outside a little earlier just chatting with a couple of other patients that I guess are getting the same procedure done. And there's not much I found out online about what what happens when you get a ketamine infusion, okay, or what a ketamine infusion will even do, or how it even works, or what happens. And I know before I came in, I sort of avoided trying to find out too much information, because what I saw wasn't really helpful. So I thought, I'll record this little video, and it might help you. Well, basically, it's day three for me, um, and I'm now on the maximum dose, which is 30 milligrams a day. Now, the idea of the ketamine is... It's designed to go through, they build up slowly. It started on 4 milligrams, 8, 12, 16, 18. They literally increased it by 4 mgs uh, over the last few days until today where they've got up the maximum. And the whole idea is to build it up so it goes all through your nervous system. And they actually have it where it's straight in a deep vein within your arm, in your body, so that the ketamine goes straight into your nervous system. Now, ketamine was originally used for horses. It was a, tran uh, a horse tranquilizer. It is a horse tranquilizer, but it was used on humans, I think, in 1968 as an anesthetic. And it really, really uh, does have those um, properties. I'm um, obviously on <laughs> the highest dose at the moment, and I do. I feel very sedated, without a doubt. Uh, it's hard for me. I'm doing my best to record this video, so bear with me. Um, it makes you feel sedated, sleepy, a little bit drunk or like you've had a, a weekend bender or something. It's just a, a really strange feeling. So you do find you run out of energy very quickly, you're not high energy and you need to sleep a lot. You're very drowsy, a bit dizzy as well, spaced out, all those kind of feelings. But on a, a positive note, what it does is it remaps the pain, the, the, the pain signals so my pain is the lowest it's been in two years. I mean, I cannot believe it. I'm actually sitting at the moment on my hospital bed and my right leg, um, I can feel it. It's like more, I would say, maybe three-level pain. And I've actually been able to literally stop all the medications I've been taking other than the ketamine. The only thing I'm taking is about 20 milligrams of OxyContin and I was up to about 100 milligrams a day. I'm now down to 20. They've got to stop it completely tomorrow. And... I'm usually at this time of day not in this sort of low level pain. I just can't quite believe it. So if you're maybe thinking about getting a ketamine infusion or wondering about it, um, yeah, it's certainly working for me and it seems it works for two thirds of people. It can help with pain relief for two thirds of people. So you just got to give it a go. Okay, you've just got to give it a go. You don't know until you try. Okay, you've just got to try and give it a go. And it's not painful. Like, I was a bit scared of getting the the little needle and everything put in, and really, it's not as bad as getting a, a blood test. It was easier than a blood test. I actually also had a blood test. They checked your liver and everything. There's, oh, I had to take from my hand. <laughs> they check your liver and everything, but um, it's not painful. Okay, so you it's like just getting a little blood test it looks more they they do this whole thing as if you're going to have surgery done on your arm because they put the line right into a deep vein so it needs to be a, an x-ray they x-ray your arm while they do it to guide it through but it really was not painful at all and it don't, i don't feel it i've had this i'm attached to this machine mac you get attached to this machine and they just put it in there and you can move around. So what happens is while you're in hospital, you're very much observed. Every hour with on the hour, they come in and take, take my blood pressure, my temperature and so on. And yeah, I've never had any blood pressure issues, but this has sent my blood pressure through the roof. So they've been on top of that to get it back down again. So it's all good. So they really, really will look after you. And um, so it's just day three and already... I'm now on the maximum, which happened last night was when they increased it to the maximum and this morning, just down on 20 milligrams of OxyContin and it's doing good and, and I've said, you know, really wanted the main, my main purpose of getting this done, I didn't expect a miracle at all, okay, you know, it was more just to get off the OxyContin, I just want to get off all the pain management medications I'm on, I, I just don't want to be on them. 
And if this helps me get off the OxyContin and takes over, uh, that's a win for me. And it's looking really, really positive. I'm on 20. Uh, I'm coping really, really well. So I'm getting really excited. I work from home. And, um, yeah, I can't wait to get back home. And if you've been following my progress, just want you to know I'm okay. If you've just found this video on YouTube, look at what's happened to the ketamine infusion. I hope you found this a little bit helpful. Don't be scared of it. It's not going to hurt you. Just go, try and give it a go. I think you might find it. It might be useful and might help you too. I hope this helps. Bye.